Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be your tour guide today. I'm in Las Vegas at the beautiful Mandalay Bay. In this video today, we're going to be walking around Mandalay Bay Beach. If you're new to Mandalay Bay, you are going to be quite impressed with this pool area. It's definitely, if not the largest, one of the largest in Las Vegas. In this video today, I'm going to be covering all the different pools and places that you could sit. Cabanas, day beds, all that good stuff. If you would like to follow along with me, go grab your computer or your cell phone, log into Mandalay Bay, MGM Resorts, Amenities, Beach. I was visiting on Labor Day 2024. Cabanas that day were starting at $600, but it was a holiday. I'm going to start my tour today at the Delano Pool, which is also at MGM Resort. I was here for opening at 9 a.m. The pools are open till 6 o'clock daily. The line was pretty long, but it moved fast. They checked my bags, but they did not ask for a room key. You do not have to be staying at Delano or Mandalay Bay to access the beach and pool area. However, it does say on the website there is a $25 fee to enter if you are a non-guest. The Delano pool is a pool only. There is no hot tub. They do have cabanas and day beds that you could rent for the day. The tan chairs are first come first serve. Those are free. Now let's talk about the cabanas. I've stayed in these before and they're very fun. With the cabana, you get two of your own chairs with the umbrella. The inside, you have a couch, TV, refrigerator, two tubes for the lazy river. You have electric in here and a lot of shade. <laughs> you have a personal server. What's not to like except the price tag? Next to it is the East Lagoon Pool, which is larger and closed the day I was there. Not sure why, but that's a really great pool. If you're thirsty, they have complimentary water and they also have the bikini bar, which is very close. Now we're going to check out the West Lagoon Pool and the cabanas over there. This place is massive, so you will get free seating if you come here first thing in the morning. That is for sure. Look at all these tan chairs. They're all free. If you get here early enough, you may even score a chair with some shade. The cabanas all around the pool and the beach area all vary. They're all different sizes. These right here feel more like pop-up cabanas. Some have walls, some are bigger, some have more seating. The day beds are a less expensive alternative. It comes with the day bed itself, a chair, and an umbrella. Unfortunately, I can't give you an accurate price on the day beds or the cabanas because they vary depending on the day of the week you're there, whether it's a holiday, Obviously, weekends are going to be more expensive. I think location is key here. Do you want to be by a pool, the Lazy River, or do you want to be somewhere that's a little bit more exclusive, where you don't have people walking by you all day long? I'm going to be showing you all of that throughout this video. Allow me to help you pick your perfect location for your beautiful day at Mandalay Bay. Between the West Lagoon and the Lazy River, you could find a party cabana, which seats a lot of people. Now we're going to check out the Lazy River and the cabanas around that. You do not need a float to go in the Lazy River, but it is more enjoyable if you just want to float and you don't want to have to swim or walk. <laughs> they have them there to rent. They're very expensive and you could bring your own or if you get a cabana, they come with it. They also have an air pump there if you want to bring your own that's deflated. These cabanas I'm going to show you are called the Riverside Cabanas. This one's very elusive. It's kind of on its own. Great for privacy, some shade if you have to work. This is a great little place here. It's a nice little hideaway. Also in this video, I'm going to show you a previous visit I had at the Moria Beach Club. And I'm also going to show you what the pool at Mandalay Bay looks like in the winter. And what do you do if you're staying here? What pool is open? I'll be showing you that later in this video. All coming up. But let's look at the rest of the Riverside Cabanas. These are all pretty close to one another. But, you know, it's all about the location. Look at this. You can't get closer to the Lazy River. It's just right there. Now let's take a look at the menu. Like the cabanas, it's not going to be your best value in the world, but you know, you're at Mandalay Bay. They do need a new menu though. It's all scratched up. Price-wise, you're going to pay a little bit, you know, top dollar, but you know, <laughs> it's part of the experience. Honestly, if you like the pool and the whole Lazy River experience and you don't care about the casinos, check out Tahiti Village. I know this is about Mandalay Bay, but I'm not making this video for Mandalay Bay. I'm making it for you guys to find the right place to stay. Tahiti Village has a beautiful pool and a lazy river. Not Tahiti Resort, Tahiti Village. They're just two different ones. Anyway, they have kitchens and you could bring your own snacks and drinks to the pool. You don't have to worry about ordering anything. It's a really good value if you're looking to save money and you're going with the family and you, and you really don't care about being in a casino. I would definitely check that out. If you saw my previous video about Mandalay Bay, my full resort tour, this is where we had dinner. Border Grill, awesome place. Best guacamole anywhere. Now let's go check out Mandalay Bay's beach, the big wave pool. 
this may be the easiest place to find a chair, a free one, because there are so many of them. Here is a look at the beach gazebos, which are in an excellent location. They're located near the West Lagoon Pool, the Lazy River, and the beach. They have two ends that are open, so they're really not going to be very cool, <laughs> but they do have a fan. But they do have the TV, refrigerator, shade, so it is a good value if you want to have some shade right in the middle of everything. Have you found a perfect cabana for you and your family and your friends? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If not, I still have more to show you. Come join me. Here's another option I wanna show you if you wanna be really close to the wave pool, the beach. They have separate chairs and separate umbrella prices. I felt like they were, that was a little steep personally, but honestly, I think I was a little sticker shocked. I just left Rio. Rio had chairs and umbrellas. I think it was $15 <laughs> to get a chair and umbrella for a day. So this was a huge difference in price. When you're hanging out at the pool, they have servers that will come around and take your drink and food orders. But if you want to go get it yourself, you can do that as well. One thing I'd like to add that I forgot to mention earlier is they let you bring a drink in here, which is really nice. I think it has to be sealed or it could be like a coffee or if you have a water bottle, they allow you to bring that in. That is really good to know. On this 17 day trip that I was on, I did stay at MGM Grand too, which is also an MGM resort, obviously, and they did not let you bring a drink in. So it's funny how the different resorts work differently and have different rules. Here's the elevator up and down to Morea Club, which I'll be showing you very soon. The Morea Club is open Thursday to Monday, has a separate admission and is adults only. I never stayed in these cabanas before. They're more like pavilions. They're more like, almost like garages. <laughs> They're more cement. They feel cooler in there. They go in there really deep. They're really nice. I really like these a lot, but they are farther away from everything. So if you have kids and you want to be watching them, this may not be convenient, but you know, you're kind of really out of the way over here. You're not going to have a lot of people walking by. A beautiful view but it just may not be convenient to everything if you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful can you do me a favor and hit that little like button i would greatly appreciate it thank you so much i try to create videos about videos i look for when i go away there's no bs over here i'm not getting paid by anybody i literally pay for everything myself and i just show people what it looks like and you can decide whether you like it or not or whether it's for you or not and i give you my suggestions about things that i think may be a better deal wow check this out this is probably a fortune but it's for a really big party i couldn't get in it but it's like a building like probably air conditioned this is great this is over by the daylight club i've never been in there either but that's supposed to be really cool for you know concerts and djs they also have lockers back here as well had a blast on this trip though. I was there for 17 days. I come from Connecticut. So when I come, I make it count. <laughs> I moved 10 times. I stayed at MGM Grand, Flamingo, Caesars, Mandalay Bay. I stayed over at two different timeshares, the Jockey Club, Club de Soleil. I also stayed at Orleans and Rio. Had a great time, wonderful trip. I still have more cabanas to show you. These are simply called the Beach Cabanas. They are located right on the side of the big wave pool, the beach area of Mandalay Bay. If you're interested in seeing tours of any of the resorts that I just mentioned, I'll leave a playlist at the end of this video of my 17 day stay and all the resorts that I stayed at. I personally really like this location. Again, it's a little bit out of the way. It's gonna be farther from the lazy river, farther from the bars, but it's sort of just its own little thing in the corner, kind of tucked away. I don't know, I enjoyed it over here. My biggest problem is I'm usually traveling alone. It's a total waste of money to get a cabana for yourself. <laughs> so I just walk around and I make videos instead. Now we're gonna go check out the Morea Club. This was a previous visit two years ago, so I apologize if my video was a little erratic. I was kind of new at filming and very excited. Look at this view. This area here is a level that's above the Morea Club. So if you're looking to go to the Morea Club, but you want something a little exclusive, I was here with my cousin, Michelle. It had its own private bathroom. We had our own bathroom for the day. It was really, really great. And this pool area here, this was shared with the other people. That I can't really call them cabanas. They were more like pavilions. They were more cement, kind of covered 
little areas that were open-ended on both sides. There were four, maybe five of these that were exactly alike, but then there's one other one. You gotta check this out. I was totally mind blown when I saw this. I was like, what? <laughs> and it really wasn't that much more expensive, but you could have a really nice party here. There was maybe a group of six people next to us that had this and they invited us over. It was really fun. We had a wonderful afternoon. I have a separate video that I made about this a couple years ago. There were more TVs in here than I think most homes have. I'll also leave a playlist of my Mandalay Bay stays for anybody that wants to see a full video of what my day was like over here. It was really a lot of fun. The Maria Club is actually Topsional, they call it. It's Tops Optional. <laughs> Up here, everyone we were hanging around with all had their tops on, well, except for a couple of the dudes. <laughs> Downstairs was a different story, so just be prepared for that. This party room also had a private bathroom as well. It had outdoor showers and a stripper pole, if the walls could talk. If you are still with me, you are a total rock star and I really appreciate you. I wanna take this moment to welcome all my new viewers and subscribers, thank you so much. And for all of you that have been watching all my videos, you guys rock the hardest. You give me this amazing opportunity to go to Las Vegas so I could create these videos for you. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Let me know where you're watching me from. I always love to hear from you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now let's talk about the weather. I don't really like to talk about small talk stuff, but this is really important. It's really hot out here. If you're, if you're coming between like June and September, be prepared. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Stay hydrated, bring sunblock and use it. And also lip balm. My lips always get burned out here. So just be careful, bring good shoes, very important. Also, I wanna mention it gets really cold here too. The pools aren't gonna be open here year round. One will, and I'm gonna be showing you that very soon in this video. I hope you enjoyed this short tour of Maria. If you could grab one of these pavilions up here, I would do it though. It's a very cool experience. So now, what if you're visiting in the winter? Four Seasons, Delano, Mandalay Bay. All these pools, sadly, are gonna be closed. Surprisingly, it gets pretty cold here in the winter. Here is the view of the very beautiful Mandalay Bay Beach in the winter time. Not much going on here. This portion of the video was filmed December 2023. In the winter, Maria Beach Club turns into a family pool. This is the only pool that you will find open. And it makes sense because they have the biggest hot tub. But in the winter, there will be no admission and tops will be mandatory. This concludes our tour of Mandalay Bay Beach. All seasons. What season do you prefer? Honestly, I would probably come here in May and October if you want to do the cabanas. Less crowds, better prices, and better weather. Here are some of my playlists for you to explore. But whatever you do, book that trip to Las Vegas. It's awesome and you deserve to be here. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Be well to yourself, be kind to others, safe travels to you, and good luck in the casinos.